Hello traders, welcome to another daily technical analysis video from Investor on Thursday, March 10. This is Ali, VP of Market Analysis and Education. And in this video, we decided to look at Dow Jones Industrial Futures Index. On the daily chart, we see the Dow Jones is trading downward for the third consecutive month after a two-year bull market. The index is hovering near the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern after falling below the 200-day exponential moving average. Sellers have already made lower tops and lower bottoms since the January peak. They have successfully pushed the price to a crucial area at uh, the level of 32,540. This critical barrier not only coincides with the neckline of the reversal pattern but is also on the 23.6 percent retracement of the post-pandemic uptrend given the sharp fluctuations and the general uh, attention of the market to political and military developments these days, it's too early to consider this level as a price floor uh, for an uptrend reversal maybe, uh, while moving averages are drawing the death crossover as we can see here, the 50 day moving average moving below the 200 day moving average. And the price has been fluctuating between uh, 34,180 resistance and 32,540 support levels in the last three weeks. Uh, determining its next direction depends on getting out of this area for sure. Suppose a downside scenario remains in play, in that case, sellers must have enough power to break the range support and a close below the neckline. If that happens, uh, the classic projection uh, will be uh, 30,544. Uh, if this barrier is broken due to intensified selling pressure, the 29,797 order, which lines up with 38.2% Fibonacci, could hold the following support. Alternatively, if buyers penetrate the March high at uh, 34,180, the price will face the resistance zone of moving averages. Overcoming this obstacle is vital to continue the uptrend. If we go back to 2018, we see that Dow Jones has experienced this transformation before. As we can see here, following a 3-year uptrend, a 45% correction occurred. Also, suppose we opt to price selling to the last top before the pandemic. In that case, we see that the pandemic caused the price to fall freely to 78.6% of its 5-year uptrend in one month. Uh, momentum oscillators do not support the downtrend in the same way. RSI is in the selling area, but the divergence between price and oscillator indicates that selling forces are exhausted and losing their power. But the momentum is below the 100 threshold and is moving south. Also, we have negative MACD bars that are slightly flattened, but the signal line has a clear downward trend. That's it from my side for now. Thank you for watching and have a successful trading day.